everyone, this video is sponsored by Walmart, but unlike all of my other Walmart videos that revolve around clothing and makeup items that I love, this one is really unique. And I will admit that when I first got this offer for collaboration, I thought this, I don't have young children anymore. I'm not really buying toys. But then I realized, yes, I am. And I need to do this video for myself as much as hopefully it will help other people. So it may seem unusual or premature to be talking about holiday shopping in the middle of October, but for so many reasons, this is a great idea. I emphasize shopping early every year just to lower your stress, but the biggest source of stress for me is not the timing of when I'm going to get the holiday gifts, it's what gifts to get. And so for this specific group, toys, Walmart came up with a brilliant idea. They got together a group of child influencers. If you're not aware, toy unboxing and toy reviews is a huge genre on YouTube. Probably, if not the most popular, one of the top three most viewed types of videos. There's like a whole bunch of videos all about reviewing toys. So Walmart got together a group of child influencers and they compiled their own list. They reviewed tons of toys and they put together this top rated by kids campaign. It is literally a toy board and these child influencers put together a whole bunch of their most recommended toys. They have it broken down by age group. They have it broken down into various categories that we're gonna go over in a minute. And I think this is genius because I don't know what a four-year-old wants. I don't know what an eight-year-old wants. It's been a long time since I've been around kids of that age. My kids are 20 and 23. And I know that a lot of you watching this are now moving into the grandparent stage of life. A lot of you are aunts and uncles, but your kids are a lot older perhaps than the kids that you're shopping for, and you have no idea what to get them. So I think this is brilliant. Personally, I have a lot of children in my immediate family that I'm shopping for. A lot of my generation are having kids, little ones now, and I'm pretty removed from those toy shopping days. So this is actually really helpful. Now, my own relatives live pretty far away. So for the purposes of this video, I did go ahead and buy several of the toys from different categories just to show you what some of the picks are. I'm gonna donate them to a local charity once the holidays get a little bit closer. There's always a toy drive going on, multiple toy drives going on. And so instead of sending these out to my relatives, I'm just gonna donate them to local children. But there are some really great picks, some classic ones and some new ones as well. I'm going to go through the list category by category and share some of the toys that stood out to me, but be sure to check the description box in addition to every toy that I mentioned that will be listed down in the order in which I talk about them. There's also a link to the main page, the toy boards, top rated by kids picks, all of them, 16 of which are exclusive to Walmart only. Okay, so the first one comes under Awakening Imagination. I picked this one. Now, I will admit, if you don't know me, I am a mom, like I said, of two boys. So lots of boy toys that I thought were really fun. This one is a classic. I remember playing with my brother with this one. This is the Hot Wheels Massive Loop Mayhem track set. Who doesn't love these? These are so fun. What I like about them, no batteries required, easy to put together. It's not gonna take the adult in the house all day long to figure out how to put this together. The kid can easily do it themselves. Does come with one Matchbox car. I have to tell you, I saved all of my kids' Matchbox cars. I have a whole tub of them sitting in my attic. Anyway, I think this is a great classic, and apparently the kids on the toy board agreed with me. Now this next one falls under the not-so-pretend pet category, and there were quite a few options, some actually more animatronic, talking-type things, and I'll highlight some of those later, but this one, I love Legos. I probably never shared this with you, and I will admit I was slightly tempted to keep this and play with this myself. Now this is rated as eight and up, but I would say, you know, judge for yourself if you're not sure if this will work for the child you're intending to gift it. You can always reach out to their parents and ask them if they're into Legos or what kinds of things they play with, but this is essentially a Lego fish tank. You can build several things with it. So obviously you can build an actual faux fish tank with all the animals inside, you can build what appears to be some sort of treasure chest and then with little creatures. And then there's also an easel with a little art piece on it. So you get quite a lot for the price. It is priced very nicely. And I think it's a lot of fun. I personally, I still like Legos. Instead of doing a jigsaw puzzle or an adult coloring book, 
gonna go peruse the Walmart site and see what other Lego sets they have. So I think this one is a lot of fun. Now under the fresh air fun category, a lot of ride on toys, hoverboards, the scooter things. I'm gonna pop in a picture of one, I can't remember what it's called, but I think this is so cool. You sit in it, well, not an adult. I wish they would make these in adult sizes and you can spin around and scoot around the house in it. I think it looks like a ton of fun. This did not exist, I don't think, when my kids were quite that age. But what I picked up, it's a little bit heavy, but it's from Fisher Price. So this is geared to more of the toddler preschool set. This is the Fisher Price, hold on, Bounceational Bouncer with built-in pump. So it's not a ball pit. I remember having one of those when my kids were little, but this is actually like a bounce house, but you can have it inside. It comes with the pump. Let me see if I can show you the picture here. So it's a lot easier to blow it up. It, you just plug it in, it's built in. You don't have to buy a separate air pump to blow it up. It has mesh walls for more safety. It's pretty compact. It is 69 inches by 68 inches. So it's just under six feet by six feet. Doesn't take up a ton of room, but it does deflate really easily. It can be easily stored. I like this over a ball pit so you don't have to chase the balls all over the house. It's very self-contained and it's for rated three years and up. The next category was on screen and streaming favorites. And these are all based on characters from TV shows, movies, streaming shows that I will admit didn't really know <laughs> what most of these were. I didn't purchase any of them, but I do wanna insert a couple of pictures here and talk about two that stood out to me for two very different age ranges. The first one is really just a 2021 version of something my own children had. It's from the Coco Melon show. I'm sorry, I don't know what, I'm sure many of you watching will know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know this show, but it's the Coco Melon School Bus Ride On. This I know, I think this is a classic children's toy. It's great for motor skills. It's great for fine motor skills. As a former teacher, I like that there's an educational aspect to it. There's the alphabet. And when my kids were little, their grandparents, my parents and my in-laws loved to get my kids toys that made noise. I could never figure out why they did that to me. This is one of those toys. And if you are a grandparent and or uncle shopping for somebody else, here's your chance to <laughs> give someone a toy that makes noise, but it doesn't have to live at your house. Now at the other end of the age range, this is recommended more for the preteen age. It's called the Snackin' Grogu. Now, at first I was like, what's a Grogu? So I looked into it. It's Baby Yoda. It is so cute. This is an animatronic Baby Yoda and it comes with little snack props. I mean, they're not edible in real life, but they look like little snacks and you can feed it to the Yoda and it makes noises and it pretends to eat it. It'll hold it. It'll let you know when it's hungry. It's absolutely adorable. I would say, honestly, even if you're not a child, if you're shopping for a Star Wars fan of any age, this is gonna be a huge hit. I thought it was absolutely adorable. I'm not even in the Star Wars, the new ones, and I thought this was really, really cute. The next category is called Timeless Toys, and I do have one thing to show you and one thing that I didn't purchase, but I had as a child. They've updated it somewhat. So the first thing, who doesn't love Play-Doh? This is the Play-Doh Kitchen Creation Rising Cake Playset. And this is so cool. I love Play-Doh has been around for, I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I had Play-Doh sets as a kid, but they are constantly updating, even the classics. So while this may be a classic concept of the Play-Doh kitchen, like a little cooking set, we all, either had one as a kid or saw it in the stores. They've updated this because, can you see that? They've updated it to incorporate the trend of the confetti cake or the sprinkle cakes where you cut them open and all the confetti or sprinkles roll out. They have incorporated that into this playset. I should say, I don't know how many of you know this, but I originally, my original career was not to be a YouTuber. It was to be a second grade teacher and a reading specialist. And I went to graduate school, I got my master's degree in education. And so one of the things we learned about was, you know, how to educate kids, how to bring out the fine motor skills. They can play with clothespins, rolling clay into little balls. So here's a way to help develop those fine motor skills in a really playful way. I think this is, looks personally like so much fun. It comes with, well, tons of stuff. It comes with one, two, three, four, five different tubs of different colored Play-Doh and all the little utensils, the little oven dings and make noises. 
I'm getting a little too excited about toys. Admittedly, I haven't been around any in a really long time, but this looks like fun. I would be happy to sit down with a kid and play with this. It even has the frosting maker. So cute. Now, the other toy from this category that I don't have with me, I don't know what the official name of it is. Look in the description box, but it's the Barbie head. Who had the Barbie? I had the Barbie head. So when I got the Barbie head, it was just, not even the, the head, it was the head and basically the shoulders and then it, of, a, of a Barbie, like the size of a human being. And it had the long hair and you could apply makeup to it and you could style the hair. It didn't grow. It just, it came with barrettes and combs and things like that. And I chopped all her hair off. So did not really foreshadow a career in talking about beauty products for me, but fast forward, 45 years or so and it's still around so the 2021 version is pretty similar except now they've incorporated hands as well so you can paint the Barbies nails and they also included a scrunchie with a tie-dye kit so you can tie-dye the scrunchies put them in the Barbie heads hair I think it's it's just to me I love that it's still around after all these years and they've just updated just that much I love that they've incorporated nails into it as well the last category, probably my personal favorite, maybe because of the teaching background, it's called edutainment expression. So these are definitely more of the intended to be educational and toys as well. I have several recommendations. The first one I have bought as presents for several children in my life, it's the Crayola double easel. One side of the easel is a chalkboard, one side of the easel is a whiteboard. I believe at least one side of it is also magnetic, so you can add the magnetic letters and do a lot of learning on that. It also has the clip, so you can use it as a true easel and do painting or big coloring, all kinds of art on it. It has trays to hold all the accessories. It's a fabulous must have, I feel like, item for every toddler preschooler. It's just like that rite of passage. It's endless fun, and but it's also very educational because it's a way, again, to do the gross motor skills, learn colors, learn the alphabet, learn numbers, so many things, and it encourages independent play as well. Now, something that I did purchase from this category did not exist when I was a kid, nor did it exist when I was teaching school, but I think this is fabulous. It's kinetic. Sand. I'm sure many of you have seen this. I know that it's meant for children, but I've personally played with kinetic sand and it's one of the more relaxing things I've ever done. It's very zen-like. This one is a little more unique in that it comes in rainbow colors, so you can really play with the colors. It comes with a handful of tools and molds, so you can really use it almost like Play-Doh, but it has that... Kinetic sand is the neatest thing. You, it's great because you can let the kids play with it in the house, but it's not messy like sand. It sticks together, you can clump it, you can mold it. I should also point out that this one happens to be wheat, gluten, and casein free. Those are concerns these days, and so if that's a concern of yours. Anyway, this is great for sensory type activities for, again, fine motor skills, gross motor skills, and just to play, because just playing is educational in and of itself. I love this. And then the last, item from this category that I had to bring up, this is for definitely the preteen set, is a VTech Kitty Zoom print camera. I love this as a YouTuber, as someone who's on social media, this is a way to give a camera to younger children who want to learn about taking pictures, who want to play with a selfie concept in a very safe way, a very educational way. It's not connected to the internet, it's not connected to a phone. They can take pictures, they can take, there's a flip up part, you can take selfies, it comes with stickers, it comes with all kinds of ways, things to decorate, I should say, and I think it's a lot of fun. It's, it's very similar, I think, in concept to a Polaroid camera, just something that's a lot more user friendly for younger kids, and I think it's, it's absolutely creative, and it looks like a ton of fun, and I know personally, VTech toys are extremely well made. I still have a couple from when my kids were little. They just really hold up. Two boys played with them for years and years and years, and 20 years later, they are still in my house. So that's just a brief run through of some of the toys that were on the toy boards top rated by kids list. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'll put down in the description box the link to the full list of toys. Feel free to peruse them, check them all out. I can tell you that I ordered several of them to be shipped to my house and several of them to pick up in store. The pick up in store for me were ready the same day. The ones that were shipped to my house came in two days, one came in three, so shipping was super fast. 
whether I had them shipped here or picked them up, both ways were really easy. So hopefully something here stood out to you as you're thinking about your holiday shopping. And let me know in the comments how many of you well, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you're shopping for a kid, but I would love to know how many grandparents I have, how many of you are shopping for your own kids. I'm, I'm just curious. I'd love to get to know all of you a little bit better. Thank you for hanging out with me again today. I hope you found something helpful, useful for your holiday shopping. Thanks to Walmart for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.